So a year later, at 17, one of your girlfriends invites you to a video shoot. Yes, it was actually um, her her boyfriend was actually my friend. And he oh. asked me to go with her because she was an aspiring singer and he didn't want her to go by herself. So, yes, I went with her as an extra. Right. For the Home Alone R. Kelly video shoot. Yes. OK. Were you an R. Kelly fan at that point? Yes, I was. OK. Like a super fan or just a casual fan? No, not a super fan, just a casual fan. Casual fan. I think we were all casual fans. I was fans. more into Tupac <laughs> at that time. Okay. You know, Tupac had just died, so I was dealing with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Tupac died in 96. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got you. Okay. So you're on this video set for Home Alone, and that's when you and R. Kelly kind of start interacting. Yeah. So explain that whole situation. I was, so I'm at the video shoot, and, um, you know, we're doing our scenes, and one of his cousins came up to me. At the time, I didn't know it was his cousin. He came up to me and said, Rob wants to meet you. I didn't know who Rob was, so I asked him, well, who's Rob? And he was like, um, R. Kelly. Um, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I didn't think anything of it at the time because I, I know I'm 17 years old, so I'm just thinking, okay, well, maybe he just wants to say hey, or, you know, I didn't know what it was. So I get on the golf cart with him. We go over to where he's at, and um, he immediately starts asking me questions. Um, he starts asking me things like, how old are you? I told him 17. He immediately after that asked me, um, will your mother let you come to Chicago? I told him she would. Of course, I didn't ask my mother. Um, he asked me, did I have a boyfriend? I said, no. Um, he asked me about my family structure. Was my father home at home? No, it's just my mom. You know, just questions I feel like now that were questions to where he could see if I could fit into his lifestyle, where he wouldn't get any, you know, like backlash from anyone trying to see where I was or find out what I was doing. But at that time, I just thought he was interested in me. That's why I thought he asked those questions. Okay. And, you know, I did the math. In 1997, when you were 17, he was 30. Right. He was about, yeah, he was 30. Yeah. Born, born in 67. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll make it 30. And so this was originally in Minneapolis? The video shoot was in yeah. um, uh, Alpharetta, Georgia. Oh, it was in Georgia. Yeah. Okay, so now you're, now you're back in Georgia again. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. that was after I came back. Oh, so you came back. Okay, got it. You came back, you go to this video shoot, and so you and R. Kelly interact. Um, what happens next after that video shoot? After the video shoot, I gave he had given me his phone number at the shoot. I waited about a month to call him, and the reason for that was I was not really sure what to talk to him about. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just didn't know what to talk to him about. So when I finally called him, uh, I didn't really have to talk to him much at all. When I called him and I explained who I was, Lisa Van Allen, from the video shoot, he said, um, when can you get to Chicago? Um, I t told him, whenever, you know, whenever he wanted me to come. So the next step was for him to give me, put me in contact with June Brown, which was his assistant. And it still is, a, well, was as, as recently as last year, his assistant. So um, he put me in contact with June. Uh, they sent me money to come up there. They didn't book my travel at that point. And um, they sent me the money, told me what to do to get an ID, um, a state ID, where, you know, what airport to go to, where to get the tickets and all that. You know, they coached me through everything to get to Chicago. Once, Okay. Okay, and at this point, you're still 17? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and are you going to school at all or, or no? I was actually working at South Lake Mall. Okay, so you dropped, you dropped out of high school? No. No, I wasn't in school at that time. Oh, okay. Got it. I, you know, I had just came from Minneapolis. I wasn't in school at the moment. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, because you, you're moving around. Got it. And before this point, did you have boyfriends? Were you still a virgin or were you, you know? I've had an, a boyfriend before. At that time, I didn't have one and I wasn't a virgin. I mean, I, no, I wasn't a virgin at the time. Okay. So R. Kelly's people send you this money. You go and book the ticket and go to Chicago. Yes. And what happens during that first trip? Um, Pretty basic stuff. Um, I checked into my he had a, a car pick me up a limo and um i go to my hotel room drop my stuff off um he has june come get me i go to the studio 
We just sit and listen to music. Um, most of the time we were listening to music. In between that, he would go play basketball. We'd eat. Um, we had sex, you know, so pretty basic. Okay. So so the first time you had, so you had sex on that first trip? Yes. Okay. And you were 17, he was 30. Um, is 17 considered legal in, in Illinois or no? I believe so. Okay. So he's technically functioning within within the law at this point. Right. Um, I just don't know what man in his 30s wants a 17-year-old, but you know, yeah. <laughs> no, I feel like... All right. Okay. So you're hanging out on this first trip and, you know, you're around the superstar who has a string of hits and has millions of dollars and, and so forth. Like, how does it feel to be a 17 year old in this type of environment? Uh, it was kind of fun at first because, you know, like you said, he's, um, you know, he's talented, you know, and sitting there listening to his music and him write music. It was, it was, you know, a great, that was a great experience. Um, you know, he pretty much was doing what we were doing, you know, teen, meaning when I say we teenagers at that time would have been doing, going to recreational centers, playing basketball, the mall, rock and roll McDonald's, all the things that kids that age would have been doing, he was doing. So I was enjoying myself up until that point. Okay. So how does the relationship progress from that first trip? Um, he ended up um, having me stay because... I came, I went home, came back another time and he kept making me miss my flight. And I told him, if I keep missing my flight, I'm going to get fired. And he asked me, well, how much do you make? And I told him $300. So he pulled $300 out and gave it to me. And we never discussed me going home again. I just ended up staying up there. Um, that was just pretty much it. Okay. So you end up just basically moving to Chicago. Yep. Definitely. And were you staying in hotels, apartments, his place, what? It would be, his studio is set up like a, apartment rooms. He has beds, TVs, some rooms have showers, refrigerators, things like that. So yeah, we'd be at the studio, he'd be at the studio most of the, most of the time. Um, or you'd be at a really nice hotel or on the tour bus with him. So wherever I'd be, he'd be there, you know, so. That okay, so you were... I guess living in the studio at certain at certain points. Yeah, he was too. Okay. I mean, so, he had he had a home, of course, but he wouldn't be he'd be in the studio twenty four seven. Okay, and would you go to his home as well? I have been to his home. Okay, and as you're doing this, well, I guess he was married at the time. Yes, but in the beginning, I I didn't know that in the beginning. Okay, did you find out at some point early on that he's married? wasn't too early on. It was probably, I'm really not sure exactly how long, but I know it was a good while later. And when I found out it wasn't through him, it was a runner actually said your wife's on whatever, whatever line she was on. So that's how I found out. Okay. And were there other girls around during, during this time? There would be. Sometimes we do threesomes and, you know, there would be other girls involved. 